Hey folks, how y'all doing? We're going to be doing a video on uh, shunts. Uh, you know how you're hooking up a charge controller on a MNDC, like a Midnight Solar um, Mini Disconnect? I have a Mini Disconnect 250. And what it is, after a while, you start adding more than one, more than one charge controller to your shunt. You, you know, that's on your negative side. You run out of room. And mine's old school, my shunt is. So it doesn't have any tabs or bolts on the side of it or sh shunt. But Midnight Solar makes a thing called a M M N shunt bar. I guess that stands for Midnight Solar Shunt Bus Bar. So I'm gonna show you what it is. Trying to get out of the package. But it holds it's got a bus bar and it's got actual lugs on there. And here's what it looks like. Right here. Isn't that cool? Let's get you a closer look up at it. All right. All right. Anyway, but it's, um, if you look up on the site, look under our uh, bus bars, and here it is. This goes onto your actual bus bar, your, uh, excuse me, your shunt right here. And I think it's like 3 8 and goes right on there. And then, bam, you got lugs to tie your charge controllers into, or, or it's just one off, the bigger ones do. And it's, it's good to go. And it's got torque specifications. I see, I see what it is online, but it's, I man, it's when you shunt right there, um, you know, and you got room to put your charge controllers, et cetera. I ordered two of them. So, but I had to modify my other one. As you see here, I took a cutting wheel, an old faithful DeWalt grinder, side grinder, but I had to take some off. There's my shavings and all where I cut it. But like right here, this was like this. I cut that part off right here. Right here, and then right here. And then I cut this little piece off right here. Sorry, right here. Yep, you had to cut that off to make it fit my box. So there you go. And then I then I cleaned it up real good. Um, got it nice and nice and shiny. Well, you know, no sharp edges for the wires, anything like that. That's a sanding disc right there. Flapper disc on your grinder. Okay. But anyway, but y'all, it is a great thing to have. You can't have too many places to put your negative side on stuff. Let's go ahead, I'll show you the torque specifications, and then I'll show you what I got installing so far. All right. Okay, folks, we're on the Midnight Solar's website. Go under products right here. Hit products. Then I go scroll down to bus bars up here where I got to highlight it. Let's go ahead and enlarge that a little bit. All right. Okay. Now we'll go scroll down. Like, see, all the newer ones, like the E panels, there's one right there. There's, there's a bus bar, shunt bus bar. That you can add onto your system. Doesn't have the studs or nothing like that. You have to add your own or get them to build it, build it for you. But all the newer ones have the the bus bars already on the shunts. Mine's are older, like a 2000, beginning of 2010 uh, shunt, 500 amp shunt. That's what these are made for. I keep on scrolling down and. They actually make them for shunts for, for bus bars. I mean, for uh, bus bars for shunts. But here's what I, here's what we got right here, y'all. It's an MN shunt bus bar right here. Okay. And that's what we got. That's how it mounts. Right there. That's nice. It's a nice device. I'm not telling you. I'm telling you, it's a really nice device. 
Uh, if you, have you had the same problem as me? Not, not enough room when you shunt. Yep. All right. Okay, folks. Here we go. Um, I'm on Northern Arizona Wind and Northern Arizona Wind and Sun. Uh, right here. Right here. Bus bars and ground bars. That's where you want to look at. So you scroll down here. Whoop. There she is, right there. All right. Let's let's click on it. And it's night nice unit nice unit can't stress that enough uh, anyway let's go check it out all right I'll show you the little modifications I made to it all right I'll put a link on my page all right folks okay y'all we are inside my solar shop here's my MNDC 250 amp disconnect and here's my shunt, well, one of my shunts. I got a shunt there that's going to my 1060 um, watt system right here. And here's the bus bar installed right here, the shunt bus bar. And I hope y'all can see that. Got a lug there, a lug there, and I already got some stuff hooked up on it, on that one right there. But you still got room right there for other um negatives if you need it for your in your bus bar and then you got your lugs also for your bigger um right there for your bigger terminals so anyway we'll be back I'm, I'm gonna hook everything up and i'll show you what we got as you see every charge controller i have is hooked to my bus bar uh, negative bus bar so it helps to have a whole lot more than what you need. All right. So anyway, here we go again. Here's what it looks like. And I wouldn't recommend trimming or cutting your own unless you're experienced with metal working tools or anything. I did it for a living with the power company. So that's just my suggestion. Don't try modifying anything at home. You know, not less, you know what the heck you're doing. All right. So here we go. She looks like. Okay, we're back at the bit. Okay, folks, we're back. And we have everything installed. Let me get my light right here. We have everything installed. As soon as I get this light right. All right, there you go. That's good. You see where I got my charge controllers? My two FlexMax 80s, then my other FlexMax 80 down here. And that small, the small black wire right here, that goes to my midnight shunt. I need my midnight 300 volt surge protection device right here. Sorry about that, folks. 300 volt. And then here's my earth ground to my midnight solar um, 300 volt um, solar sur I mean, su surge protection device. And my positive right here, this goes down and it loops around and goes right here to my, uh, my battery side of my M MNDC. So it goes around like that, comes back up. Wham! It's right there. Now all my batteries come through right here. Up through the bottom. Right there. Let's get you a bit more. Up through the bottom. All my charge controls come through the bottom. And up top is which goes to my inverter right there. And this is a 2010 MNDC box. Okay. But there she is. Let's clean set up. Okay, we're back, folks. Um, anyway, uh, I had a my card ran out, so I had to do some readjusting there. But anyway, inverter is here. All right. Down here is battery. This is my battery. Okay. And all my charge controllers. Come to the bottom, come back up. 
Damn. There they are. And when that comes through, through the top, now battery to the top. This comes straight off my wind turbine and it goes to the top. Okay, folks, we're back again. Great day. But anyway, we got uh, the shunt midnight solar shunt bus bar connected, and it's it's perfect. It does it's doing a great job. So anyway, hey, I just wanted to share that with y'all, and I'll show you the bus um the shunt bus bar again. All right, hold up. Okay, y'all, we're back. Um, just got through marking my my negative SPD surge protection device 300 volt and my positive um, surge protection device 300 volt and my earth ground my earth ground is right up there and my surge protection device is right over here right there I got it ran there and it's ran behind here and goes up through here and shoots right around there and gets down there. So all charge controllers, inverter, everything is protected. So it's good to have. Um, I got them on my AC side on the other part of my shop. So yeah, it's good to have. Well, uh, all our connections are tight on our bus bar. So inverter right here, inverter negative. Not excuse me, that's battery negative, I'm sorry. Battery negative. And then battery negative and, and, and here's your load. And I got that marked L and B for battery. But anyway, let's go ahead and turn on the inverter. Alright. Didn't do anything. Because they don't have our battery cut on. All right, so we got the cutter battery switch on right here. Battery switch is cut on. Okay. Now we'll flip the inverter on. And it cuts everything else on. And the charge, your batteries are independent. This is your wind. This is my wind charge controller. This is my 1610 water ray. 1610 water ray. And that's that inverter right there. I mean, excuse me, charge controller, boop. And over here is this charge controller here. This would be number two. And over here is number three charge controller. That's 1600. 1,060 watt um, array. And this is the 840 watt array right here. Okay, so we're looking good. We got everything powered up. We're ready to rock and roll. But anyway, that's that new inverter. She want to check it out. But it's, it's nice. Midnight makes great stuff. And uh, anyway, Midnight, but MN Shunt Bar. Uh, MN Shunt Bus Bar. So anyway, yeah. And here she is. Midnight. Night's over. Alright. Anyway, again, here's this puppy right here. Like I said, I modified mine a little bit, but I don't recommend doing it. Not unless you know what the heck you're doing with metal. So, where here she is. Let's take it out of the bag one more time. For the heck of it. Alright. Alright, here we go. Here it is. That's what she looks like. But yeah, and it goes right that. Either or, you go on that side of your shunt. Or you go on this side of your shunt. Either way you want to do it. So yeah, either way you want. So I got me a spare. Kicks and get got plenty of room over here. Well, kinda, 
but you're getting awful close to your your positive side, which is right here. So that's that's too close for comfort for me. But anyway, you can always take the panel off and move the shunt up if you had to. But here's my other shunt. And I also have another shunt in here, so I'm measuring three shunts all together. Wind is in here. The wind wind power shunt is in here. Um, so anyway. And here's my SPD right here. Or surge protection device, as it says right there. This is a 300 volt DC. And this is a midnight flush box. I got the panel unscrewed right now. But the flush kit box, I framed it in. All that good stuff. And the wire goes through here, out through there. No, here, we'll take a look at it. There it is right there. That's right there. It's down and up right there. And the butt connectors right there. And it goes right here. And there she is. All right. Button that back up. But anyway, there she goes. All right, well, hey, I'm gonna get off of here. I'm getting cutting this video a long time here, but yes, the uh, midnight uh, shunt bus bar. Um, but yep, nice thing to have, really nice. Um, and also, I didn't show it on this video, but I installed this surge protection device. To, on the, all the DC side, all my charge controllers, my inverter, the whole nine yards. So anyway, all right. Well, anyway, th folks, hey, thanks for watching my videos. And it's my phone going off. But anyway, thank you for watching, and please subscribe. God bless Semper Fi. Hoorah. I'll take it easy now. All right. Bye bye.